Okay guys, we got our last bar of gold. We got two bars. One I smelt to 20 ounces, which gave me 18 ounces of gold. And then I smelt to 9 point something and gave me a little less than 9 ounces of gold. Hello guys and gals and welcome back to Gold Rush, the How To Play series. Today in this episode, we got 10 buckets. I know I was only supposed to do 8, but I took the other 2 buckets that were over there and I filled them up too, so we got a total of 10 buckets of process. And this hand panning, that's going to take me a lot of time. And I don't like hand painting. So I'm just going to take this, that up here. I'm going to take this, and we're going to put that up here. Get that out of the way. So while I was digging, I found a total of 35.793 ounces. That's a lot of gold. And we're going to need some equipment. So what we need to do is go to the blacksmith. Hop in the pick them up. Go to the blacksmith. And. Smelt the gold nuggets that we got. So I'll meet you at the blacksmith. Okay guys and gals, we're here at the blacksmith, so I'll show you where the stories are if you are interested in collecting those. That's one right there underneath the bench. And there's only two that I know of. There used to be three. They eliminated the other one. I don't know why. But that's where the second one is. There's no other ones that I've found since they've changed it. So this is the gold room. Uh, this is the blacksmith. Okay. And we got 35.793 ounces to make. And this is what you can do in, in the blacksmith. You can smelt. You can upgrade the blacksmith by reducing the time. Reducing the um, cost of the, to smelt the gold. Reducing the gold loss. And actually making bigger things and it takes magtite which we'll get into a little bit in a couple different episodes but today we will i will show you how to get magtite so and magtite every ounce of magtite is important so you can upgrade you can if you finished all the upgrades that you got here you can then sell your magtite or you can sell your gold ore, since we got gold ore here, we can sell it, but it's at 40% of the gold price. So right now, gold, I got, cost $488.17. If I sell it, then this will tell you how much I sell. So if I go like this, sell all my gold, I'll make 17000 Four hundred and seventy-two point nine four dollars. We don't want that. So I'm just going to exit out of there, then exit back in. What we are going to do is smelt our first bar. Since we don't have much money, we're going to make. When you smelt the bar, when you make a bar smelt, ah, I get it right. When you smelt gold, it tells you how it costs money. Okay. So right now, with the money I have, I can only smelt 6.5 ounces. I'm going to lose, it's going to cost me $647, which is what I have. It's going to take me 15 minutes, or it's going to take 15 minutes 
and I'm going to lose 0.65 ounces. Okay? Now let me show you another trick. I showed you how to slow down time. Go back to your settings. Go to game. Then go back to your time scale. And now go to times 12. And apply. That will speed up the time when you start smelting. And then just make sure once you're done smelting that you go ahead and turn the time back down. See, we're still on day one. I did 10 buckets. It's only 10.54 in the morning. So we've done a lot during the day. And as soon as that gold bar is ready, we're going to run to the bank, sell it, then come back here. So... Takes 15, it takes 15 minute game time. So if you're um, one on one, that'd be 15 minutes of real time. If you times one, so make sure you times 12, which is 12 times the speed, and you can have more fun. Now, if you play Gold Rush before, have you ever tried to jump on that roof from this car? It looks like you can, but as soon as I hit it, I hit the wall. I can't jump up. I don't know why. Should be just about ready. Let me see. You can always check to see how much time you have left. So we got less than a minute. And no notification comes up. Gold bar is ready. All you do is enter, then exit. Now you got a 5.8 ounce bar of gold. Let's put it in the back of your pickup truck. Start the engine, release the brakes, and we'll go ahead and sell the gold. So we have money to first pay off our loan. Yeah, if you slam on the brakes and turn at the same time, you can slide. So we'll come over here to the bank. We'll take a look at the stock. Right now, gold is at 1,220.35 ounces. So we'll sell our gold bar. We'll get $7,156 from that. We'll sell that. And then we go to loans and we'll pay off the loan that we've already took. And you saw it took a, it takes doesn't matter. We only borrowed it for for the same couple of hours, and it still cost us the amount. So if, what was it? Twelve hundred. It cost me to pay pay it off was seventeen thousand thirty six. Balance and it will three months, and it will change. The higher the time, the higher the cost. And the interest is at 103. The lower the month, the interest rate goes down. But it's still a high interest rate. That's the only time I actually take a loan out. So what I'm going to do next is drive back to the goldsmith. Uh, not the goldsmith. Yeah. Goldsmith with blacksmith. Let me turn that off. I know you don't like me driving on the pavement. With my differential on. So what we are going to do is drive into here. And we'll just park right here. Turn off the engine because remember gas costs money. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and smelt the rest of the gold. Go to the bank and sell it and I'll meet you up. I'll meet you at the bank. Okay, guys, we got our last bar of gold. We got two bars. One, I smelted 20 ounces, which gave me 18 ounces of gold. And then I smelted 9.7 and gave me a little less than 9 ounces of gold. So what we are going to do now. Is just come to the bank going to sell our gold. We've already paid off our loan. Right now we got 
$2,515 of money. We'll just go ahead and sell this. Oh, 8.3 ounces of gold. Or, and that's $10,192. Now remember, if we just sold all the nuggets that we had, we were going to get 17000 20 ounces, which is with the gold loss, makes it 18. It's 21,974. That's just 20 ounces, plus we sold the other two. So we'll sell that. Click on it and then sell it. And we'll go ahead and exit. We got a grand total of $34,683, plus we we paid the loan of seventeen hundred, so that will give us, yeah, thirty six. That that would have given us thirty six thousand dollars. I don't want to do it without the pump. Don't don't buy it. But now we are going to upgrade. We got some money, and we are going to start setting up the gold room to help process the gold a lot more efficient so we got all this equipment but we are I don't wait a minute how much is the trailer that's 2000 let's see we are actually going to buy this we're going to buy the magnetite separator this separates the magnetite from the gold we'll buy one and that's $2,524. Then we got this wave table. And that's going to be $4,036. We're going to buy one. So that's about $6,000. We're going to need a generator to operate. So we just need one of that. That's $302. We're going to need another red hose, another flat hose. We're going to need two of these thin hoses. We're going to need the water. No. Down. Down, buddy. Down. There you go. This is what you need. The water splitter. That's $121. I add that to the cart. And we are going to need the power splitter. That's $121. This is adding up quickly. We're going to need two of these cords. And we're going to need one of these cords for right now. Eventually, we'll buy this later on. This will this will take the bucket of magtite and separate the magtite from the dirt, and then give us clean magtite that we can sell. This is the mobile wash plant. We'll go over that in another series. What I'm going to do is I'm, I usually buy this. I'm trying to save some money here this time. So let's just go over to here. Let's see, that's nine items. Let's make sure we got everything. We got the magtite separator, one. We got the wash table, one. We got the mobile generator, one. Flat hose, one. Two. Oh, wait a minute. I know what we forgot. I know exactly what we forgot. We we need two buckets for the magnetite separator. Okay, so we got ten items now: water splitter, fat hose, thin hose, power splitter, um, low voltage, which is the extension cords, one high voltage, and two buckets. That's a total of seventy three uh, seven thousand three hundred and two dollars. Okay, so that gives us roughly $27,381 left. Might have to make two trips. Let's do this first. Yeah, I like doing this. And then I'm just going to crouch down. And then crouch back up. Uh, 
actually. Yeah, let's do it this way. We got two of these. Both about the same size. We'll just go ahead and fit there. What I'm going to do next. When you crouch down, you got a good idea where it's going to be at. No, that's not going to work. Scoot. Scoot, scoot, scoot. There you go. Okay. And then I'm going to... Stand up, buddy. I'll put the magnetite separator there. And close this up. Now I'm going to take the red hose. We can do that. That's good. Okay. Let's do that. we got two of these hoses. Let's see. Can I just lay this flat on top of here? One. Two. And we got electrical cords, which we can put right here on the side. Okay, I can all I can get it all in the pickup in the back of the pickup without buying the trailer. It's just easier with the trailer. That's two thousand dollars right now that we're saving. So that's actually worth the savings because right now we're tight on money. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll meet you back at the gold room. Okay guys, we're back at the claim next to the gold tent and the first one I want to pick up is I'll go ahead and pick this one up and what I want to do is rotate it so it's like that so the buttons are facing me and what we are going to do is come here we're going to put the gold the magnetite separator as soon as I figure out what I'm doing here we're going to put it right here. It needs to be on a level surface. A lot of people take it out in the field, but and it, then they have a hard time leveling it. I just use this gold room because this is a founded. This is a foundation. That way, I don't have to keep moving all that equipment. I'll just bring the stuff over to here. So we'll come over here. Use the gold table. Okay want this facing me with the you can barely see it in the upper top but I want the switch facing me so what I'm going to do now is just come down here and uh, we're going to put this as close as we can to the back we'll stand up and what I'm going to do is just push it there we go now it's up against the wall we still have access to what we need to access and we can do everything here and it's out of the way we got lots of room here so what I'm going to do next is go ahead and set grab the red hose okay and this gets connected to this pump gets connected to the side and we'll just we'll just put this down there for right now pick up the hoses for right now ok 
pick up the generator. And what I like doing is putting the generator. Facing me. Crouch down. And what I'll do is I'll just put that right there. It's close to the pump. That's why I put the pump over here. So when I'm working on the gold room, I'll, I got the pump right here. If I'm not, if I'm out working on this claim, it doesn't make sense for me to go all the way down there to run the pump when I have to use it for my gold room. So that's why I put pump here initially in the last episode and this is why what we are going to do next is pick up this this is the electrical splitter but have the outlets facing you and we're going to put that right there No, I am standing up. How come I'm not moving? Okay, we'll take the hose splitter. Have the, um, have, have the hose connections. I was going to say nipples. Touch down here and go right there. Put it right next to the outlet. The electrical splitter. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to do something. No wonder time is going by fast. When you're done smelting the gold, <laughs> remember to put it back to one times. I was trying to figure out why it was going by. time was going by so fast. I forgot to do that. Okay, next we'll take this. The high voltage. And we are going to connect that from there. right there and we're going to take the where did I put that thing we're going to pick up the hose that we dropped and we're going to connect it to the back of this like so and we'll take oh we still got two electrical cords I keep on forgetting we'll just take the electrical cords out And, oh, I forgot the buckets. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Got the two very important buckets, which I'll show you next uh, later. Next, we're going to attach the electricity. So this one, put it, click it on to there. And we'll come over to the wave table. And what I like doing is just making sure that it's stretched, it, going to lay out a little bit so you don't trip over the cord. Grab the next one. And this is going to the magtite separator. Now there's a little secret to this one. Just kind of poke this wall. And then you just attach that right there. Like so. And it's literally out of your way. Okay, next we're going to connect the hoses. So this one goes in on this first nipple and run over to here to the back of the thing and you see that little connection and we'll just connect that to there. Hose lays flat so you don't have to worry about it. We'll connect this next hose and like the outlet that we connected to the magtite separator. I hug this wall. Then what I'd like doing is this pull it up and then just connect that to there and now it comes through the tent and it's not oops and it's not in the way. Now we got everything connected. We got the water pump. We got the generator. I need gas for the generator. Oh, we got this fuel can. Let's pop this off. Okay. 
three quarters, so we still got plenty of fuel. Oh yeah, the most important thing. These buckets that I forgot. Let's go ahead and put them in play now. We'll put one there. Underneath the magtite separator. And we put the other one here. So we got everything. So let's turn on our pump. Water pump. Let's turn on our elect electrical generator. Okay, now let's turn on this machine. Water's working, electricity's working, we got water working, let's see if this is working. It is, so what we'll do is we'll take this bucket and we'll dump it in here like so. And now this is an extra bucket. For right now, I'm just going to put all the buckets right here. But you see it's separating, and there's two buckets. The buckets on the left, this bucket, is the pay dirt bucket. We'll take that, and we'll dump it on into the wave table. Take this bucket back. And we'll dump another bucket. Now, the bucket on the right of the magtite separator is your magtite. Which we don't have much right now. Okay, our first gold was 0.75 ounces. So we're doing pretty good. But this is a lot quicker than hand painting all that gold. So I'll fast forward this and bring you back when we're done. Okay guys, just waiting for the wave table to finish up. We've got about 10% left. And it'll tell us how much gold we made. I think we have three buckets in that one. 1.95 ounces, that's not bad. Turn that off so we can hear. Let's turn off this stuff. Okay, now we can hear ourselves. Now we did get 2% of this bucket is filled with magtite, which is important. Every ounce of magtite in the beginning is important. So do not sell you a magtite. Save it until you get more so you can upgrade the blacksmith. Only sell you magtite once you've completely upgraded the blacksmith shop. Because you'll save a lot of money. Okay. Oops. Sorry about that. Hit the wrong button. This is how I set up my gold room. This is a three items. There's three items that should be in this thing. But right now we're not worrying about the nuggetator. Eventually we'll put buy the nuggetator and put that there. But right now these are your two most important thing. You saw how quickly I process those ten buckets compared to me panning a quarter of a bucket. I mean it took me just as long to <laughs> took me just as long to do the, those ten buckets than it did for me to pan a quarter of a bucket. So this is how you set up your gold room. And the reason why I do it in this tent, instead of doing it like out here and bring everything over to there. Or if I'm over here working and just bring everything over to there where I'm working. Once I get the wash plan set up, get, get that all set. The reason why I do it here is because you got one central point to bring all your stuff. Plus, you got to find a level surface to put this equipment on, and this is a nice flat level surface. So you get, and just like in real life, in in Gold Rush, just like in Gold Rush, where they have a gold tent, they bring all their mats, their um, buckets, 
and they run us through the magnetite separator. If they have mats, then they run us through the magnetite separator. Then they go to the wave table, and it gets the rest of the gold. So that's how. This is why it is important to set up your gold room. Gold room is important. So you got one central location where everything comes, and it's nice and easy. So, if you're new to my channel and you like this series, hit that subscribe button and bell. That way you know when the latest videos I do come along and when the next video of this series comes out. Also, do me a favor. Hit that like button. The like button does two things. First of all, it lets me know that you like these videos I'm doing and lets me continue doing them. Second of all, it helps expose my channel so my channel can grow. And right now, that's what I want. I want to grow this channel to where we get over a thousand people and we can start doing other things in this gaming community. And I'm trying to build a nice gaming simulation gaming community here on Buddy1927's channel. So people can talk, change ideas, and stuff like that. And once I get to a thousand, I'll set up a Discord channel and go from there. So, also, do me a favor. If you got questions about what I did and why I did it in this series, or if you got questions about any other videos I do, or you just got a suggestion you, you might want to place, because I read all the comments that come along, plus other people read the comments. So, it might be a question that they want to ask, and if I answer it, it answers it for them too. So if you got a question, ask. Leave it down below in the comments. Maybe some if I don't have an answer, somebody reading the comments might. So leave leave it down below in the comments. And as always, have fun playing your games. Be safe out there in the world, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.